Hello YouTube, Matt here from Forensics with Matt, and in today's video, I'll be talking to you all about Magnet Acquire, and that is this program right here, and it is Magnet Forensics' free tool that helps you get data off of devices like mobile phones, computers, tablets, and hard drives, just to name a few things. So without further ado, let's get into this and see how it works with my Google Pixel 8 phone. So roll that intro and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, hey y'all, before we start the video, I'd like to mention a little bit about my blog. So, so in this case, my blog is called Forensics of Matt. And on that, I talk about tech stuff, I talk about digital forensics, cybersecurity, and other things related to the security field. Like, I know I just recently put out one that's on the previous video that I put, which is rooting Android, so stuff like that is what I do on my page. Yes, yeah, so if if you really want to see the newsletter, you can subscribe any way you want. And this is what it looks like at the time of now. We haven't changed any of the subscriptions, but if you'd like to support me, if you like my videos and want to support me in doing that, I would I would very much appreciate it so that I can invest in my lab buy new computers, buy new things, and test out things that are paid, and bring more content to you guys based on a whole bunch of other things that might not be totally free. But if you just want the newsletter, feel free to subscribe to the newsletter just like that. But no matter what you do, you'll be getting some good content that I write myself. So, thank you for watching this far, and let's get back to the video. Okay, now for the video itself, guys. I have a phone. I have my Google Pixel 8 right here. Right next to me, you're not seeing me because I don't have my camera turned on. But I have my Google Pixel 8 with me. I just plugged it in and I'm going to grab my camera. Okay, so I have my camera set up. And just to show you that I have root on my phone, I'll open MyDisk because that's one thing that you'll need to have. So I have MyDisk installed and it's set up correctly. And I'll just also type in to my root checker and show you guys that I have root. And yeah, as you can see that I have root. Okay, we'll just open this up really quickly. And yeah, originally, previously, I was going to do this thing on Lineage OS, but Lineage... Oh. So yeah, now... Magnet Acquire wants me to enable USB debugging, and I'll do that because it will show up on my screen very shortly. So it'll show that it has privileged access, and I'll be able to move on and put in that I want it to do a full taking of the device. Okay, 
Okay, so this goes a little bit slowly sometimes, so I like to close it and open it back up. And it usually detects the device. So that's the only downside to this. So I will, I'll do that right now. For the sake of time. But yeah, I usually fix it up. Shell with super user rights on the phone, as you can see there. Google Pixel 8, Android 15, that's the model number and it has privileged access. So you could do entire contents of user data or just the native and third party apps for a click acquire. I would have had this option only had I not had root installed on it. But since I do, I'll move on to the next step. So I'll just title this test image. Best image pixel 8. And yes, um, it's saved in the correct folder that I like. Okay, this should take two to three minutes or two to four minutes, I should say. So anywhere between that and that is what it's taken me before. So in the meantime, I'll tell you guys a little bit about what I have on this phone. So, so far I've been using this phone for a while and this specific build of Android by ODOS, Yogi, or however you call that, has the Aurora store and the Asteroid store on it, so you can get open source apps and Google apps, and it also has it also has the Michael J app somewhere somewhere. Oh, yeah, I thought it, it, it thought it had the Michael G apps installed at some point. But it doesn't seem to have Michael G installed. Yeah, so it has the same general stuff, and I installed Discord and Duolingo to test out its microphone stuff. But that didn't end up working the way I wanted it to. I do also have Tor browser and all the other stuff related to root on it. Because I'm just testing out with a privacy setup. Oh yeah, and speaking of privacy, IOD has this IOD app. That is a built-in VPN that reroutes all the traffic that you have from your apps through itself, and in doing so, in doing so, blocks, ads, and things that would otherwise be annoying to you. So I think that's one of the best parts of this Android operating system, and I will keep using it on this phone, and I think I might even use it as a daily driver at some point on other phones. If I can get things like the microphone on certain apps working correctly all the time. But yeah, now it's going towards about three minutes and it's just about done. So I've, I'm glad I successfully talked through all of those, or all of that time. So let's just give it a few seconds to complete itself while it calculates the hashes and the hashes have been calculated. And I'll open the folder at this point. 
I'll extract all of this stuff. Okay, now it's a tar, so how about I open it with... How about I use my 7-zip program and extract that there? I'll just go yes to all for that. And it's magically going very fast today, which is a good thing. So I think it finished, but so far, I could just really quickly go through the image info. So yeah, everything is succeeded. And yeah, this is just a log of what the software did. And it has the SHA-1 and MD5 hash of everything, and yeah, all the hashes are good. So it has the data partition and under data data. We have all of our apps here. And we see that this has signatures of apps that are Lineage OS because this is based on Lineage OS. And also here's the Tor browser right here. Here's um, the F grade store among other things. And the matches. Play all day news. Play all day app. It has Google services on it. Discord. Um, there's nothing on Discord. The overall store and Duolingo, among other things. And yeah, how about we go system C E zero usage stats among other things the version. We'll open that with notepad. So fifteen release, whatever that is, yep. Okay, I couldn't do anything with that. Actually, system C E might be encrypted. I'll encrypt the device encrypted, I think. Uh, I won't do that right now. Power stats. And this with no pad, can I?
you know, put this into a a lab at some point and see what it finds. System. This is an encrypted two. Okay, yeah, there's more encrypted things on here, so. So for now, for this very basic introduction to using Magnet Acquire, I'll just end it up here. And we can do a more thorough forensic investigation of this later on. I don't I don't know the date. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. Maybe even just about the existence of Magnet Acquire. And if so, leave a like, leave a comment about what you learned, and feel free to subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends if you really found this helpful and you'll and you think others would find this helpful. Now this has been Matt talking about Bang Acquire and the images that it produces. And until next time, enjoy doing forensics and I hope you learn something new every day. So Matt out. Mm -hmm.